Hey guys, Multigame Master one reporting in, and welcome back to Let's Replay 100% Super Mario 64. Last time we got a lot of power stars in three secret stages and Womp's Fortress, and now we're going to head back into the Bob Bomb Battlefield in pursuit of the two remaining power stars that we have yet to recover. So here we go. On to the Bob Bomb Battlefield we go once again. Episode 5. Mario Wings to the Sky. This next power star is easy to get as long as you have the wing cap. Of course you could do it without the wing cap, but it's a little bit more difficult and time consuming as I've learned in the past. As you guys recall in the last episode, I did activate the wing cap, so we'll be able to get this next power star no problem. Now the first place we have to go is on the floating island, so let's use the cannon to our advantage and get up there and see if we can find the wing cap for us to use. There indeed is one on our left, so let's take it with us and make good use of the nearby cannon in search of the power star that we have to recover. Now in front of you, you're going to notice a ring of rings. Ring of rings? Did that seriously just come out of my mouth? This isn't Sonic the Hedgehog! Duh! You're going to notice a ring of coins, and basically what you want to do to find the power star is to fly through all five of them with the wing cap. So, one, two, three, four, and five. The power star appears, and we can grab it in style. Hopefully. Touchdown! I find it also amusing that whenever the Goomba runs into you and Mario already has the star, that you don't take damage. It's pretty funny. Definitely pulled that one off in style. Episode 6, Behind Chain Chomp's Gate. This final power star for the area is pretty simple to get as long as you're very careful. Now you guys have seen the Chain Chomp numerous times before, right? Well, behind his gate he's guarding a power star and it's real simple to get at. What we have to do is to set him free and we can do so by ground pounding on his log three times. Without being run over by that big ball of steel. Just look at his eyes and teeth. After ground pounding on the log three times, he is set free, he wanders off and bashes down the gate for us to collect the power star. Also a really handy mechanic, for every power star you recover, your health will be fully restored. So that's pretty handy. And thus this mission accomplished in the Bob Bomb Battlefield. Now let's move on to our next world of interest. We can do so by making our way to a previous room that we have been in before. It's this one right here. Let's jump on in to the next world. Here we go! Course number 3, Jolly Roger Bay. Episode 1, Plunder in the Sunken Ship. So here we are in Jolly Roger Bay, and boy does it look beautiful. Although things are dark, and it's a little bit foggy. But nonetheless, it is pretty beautiful. So for this power star, we need to find a sunken ship. Let's see if we can find one. There's one down there. But unfortunately, the way inside is guarded by that giant eel. Just look at its big scary eyes and sharp teeth. It's actually rather creepy. I get scared the more I look into it. I'm just gonna swim away from it for now because it is terrifying. Although... We need to find a way to get inside the ship. How exactly can we do that with the eel guarding the way? Think, Motai, think. Well, maybe if we swim back down, we can... Oh wow, he just swam out on his own. I don't understand why he didn't do that in the first place. Maybe he's just shy like that. But at least the way in is now revealed. So let's get inside the ship. Now inside the ship, you want to open up these four treasure chests in a certain order. If you don't, well, there's a mission related to this, so I'll show you what happens later. So, it's this one next. Um, this one next. Every time you open up the chest, you will get an air bubble that will allow you to replenish your health meter. Or your air meter in this case. After all four treasure chests have been unlocked, the water levels recede in the ship, and if we can reach that box up there in search of treasure, we might be able to find something. Because that's the life of a pirate. We search for treasure. And there indeed is shiny treasure right there. The next power star. Here we, go. we are pirates of the seven seas. Or Jolly Roger Bay in this case. Back inside for episode two. Can the eel come out to play? 
Hmm, that's a very good question. Can the eel indeed come out and play? Well, we're going to find out in just a moment. We have a bob -bon buddy there. I'll go ahead and talk to him so that we can make good use of the cannon later. Thank you, comrade. Much appreciated. Now, let's see what we can do about the eel. If you guys recall in episode 1 of this area, the eel can be found at the bottom of the Jolly Roger Bay, dead center in the area. We also have another power star down there, but that's related to another mission, so we're not going to worry about that for now. There's the eel. Hmm. Let's see. Whoa! Hi, eel. How are you doing? I feel fantastic! In fact, I'm going to swim around now. Uh, okay, yeah, you can do that. Wait, you have a power star. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme give the star, gimme the star, give me the star. This is rather difficult. Gimme the star, you stupid eel. Gimme the star, give me the star. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. To get the power star, you want to grab it from the eel's tail without running into him. Otherwise, you will take damage. And don't ask me why it is that you take damage from the eel when he doesn't do much. He's just deadly like that. Let's just put it at that. I swear I was about to die. But it's a good thing I didn't. I really don't want to have to die. Episode 3, Treasure of the Ocean Cave. So for the next Power Star, we need to make our way for a treasure cave. And we can find one at the bottom of the Jolly Roger Bay. And while I make my way down there, I want to tell you guys something really important real quick. I know I promised on Twitter that I was going to upload an episode of Super Mario 64 yesterday. But it's just that things have come up. College work, and also the fact that I'm working on another project with another YouTuber. But, um, I'm not going to tell you guys what the project is during this recording. However, I have made an update video about it with enough detailed information about it. So, if you want to know more about this secret project that I'm working on, just search for update video number 3 on my channel. It will explain more. And that is all I have to say on the matter. Now here we are in the treasure cave, and here are four treasure boxes. You need to open them up in a certain order, otherwise this will happen. You'll get an electric shock and you'll have to start over. Luckily I remember the order in which the treasure chests have to be opened, so I will show you guys how to open it. It's this one here, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. After opening up all four treasure chests, there is your next power star. The treasure chests have to be opened up in order for you to get it. I still can't get over the fact that I was going to die in episode 2, and have a certain someone scream death. Although it is pretty hilarious. Episode 4, Red Coins on the Ship Afloat. So basically for this mission, we just have to grab all 8 red coins, and in addition to that, I'm also going to grab the 100 coin star, so I'm going to speed up this next mission and meet you guys whenever I collect the 100 coin star. So, wish me good luck guys, and I will see you in a bit.
There you have it guys, the 100 coin star. So let's take it with us. And for some reason the camera can't see Mario, until now. On this ship you want to watch out for the box, otherwise you will take damage. Let's get the remaining red coins and get out of here. Up we go, to the top of the ship. Wow, I'm having trouble with this. Okay. There we go. Here are the two remaining red coins. And there's the red coin star. So we can take it with us. And I think 104 coins is the maximum that you can get in Jolly Roger Bay. I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay, on to episode 5 of Jolly Roger Bay. Blast to the Stone Pillar. For this next power star, we're going to need to make use of the cannon, which is why I have activated it earlier. So let's hop inside. And the stone pillar that is being referred to is that over there. You'll want to shoot yourself on the pillar so that you can catch it and reach for the power star. I pulled that off in one try, so let's jump over here and take fall damage while we do so. But it's worth it to pick up the power star that's found in the box. There is your next power star. We're definitely making good progress. The next power star involves a certain power-up, but given the fact that we do not have this power-up yet, we're going to skip it for now and worry about it later. Unfortunately, I'm out of time for this episode, so I'm going to end the episode here. On second thought, guys, I just realized that this recording is initially a bit too short, so lucky you guys, I'm going to make this episode a little bit longer by covering the next world of interest. So consider it to be your lucky day. That's my gift from me to you all. So now we're going to move on to the next world by going through this door over here with the number three on the door. Get inside and we are going to move on to our next world in that painting, the one in the middle. Course number four, Cool Cool Mountain, episode one, Slip Sliding Away. Snow Mountain Summit. Watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Keep that in mind. Um, I'm planning to get the 100 coin star first for the first mission, and it's not going to take me real long to do so. So I'm not really going to speed it up. But basically what you have to do for the first star is to make your way inside the cottage and just basically slide your way to the bottom. There is a shortcut that you guys can take to get to the bottom quicker, but I'm not going to take that because I really want to focus on grabbing these coins up here. That and I really don't like to cheat the track. So we have a good plethora of coins as of right now. A very good amount, we have 80. We just need 20 left for the 100 coin star. And after leaving the cottage, there's your power star, but before we get that, we are actually going to find the 100 coin star. Or maybe not so much find the 100 coin star, but find the remaining coins that we need to for the star. You have some coins? No, you just have a snowball on my face. Whatever. Here's a secret passage that we can take that gets us all the way to the top of the summit. And I think that down the slide, we should be able to get the remaining coins if I don't bump into stuff along the way. Okay, 95, we're almost there. Oh, I missed that coin. Well, luckily there's a blue coin switch over here, and I would feel more comfortable if I got the 100 coin star right here. So there you go, the 100 coin star for Cool Cool Mountain. We won't have to worry about it later. Now let's head back down the mountain and pick up the power star of interest. Come on Mario, get out of the snow. If you fall from a really high height, Mario will get sucked in the snow and it'll take a while for him to get out. Okay, so that mission is complete. Let's move on to the next episode of Cool Cool Mountain. Episode 2, Little Penguin Lost. 
For this mission, there is a mama penguin that has lost her baby, and I think that this is the baby that she needs. We just have to bring him to her. Of course, it's going to be a long way to get there. But then again, maybe it doesn't have to, because I could just take a shortcut. So we need to make our way down below. Oh shoot! Taking real good care of this little penguin. Come back here, little guy. There's the mother penguin. Before we hand him over to her, let's talk to her. Hey, Dad! My baby! Have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole wide world! They say she has my beak. I just can't remember where I left her. Let's see. I stopped for herring and ice cubes, and I... Oh, I just don't know. Stay calm, ma'am. We have your baby right here. Come here. Here you go. You found my precious, precious baby! Where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, I do have this. Star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. Thank you. But before we get that power star, I want to show you guys something really funny. If we make our way to the top of the cottage, by means of this tree, we'll see another penguin, and if we bring this penguin over to the mother penguin, here's what she says. That's not my baby! She looks nothing like me! Her parents must be worried sick! She does look like you! She even has the same beak and colored skin and belly as yours! Are you serious, Mother Penguin? She looks like you. How, how could you... Oh, never mind. So that's what happens when you bring the wrong penguin to her. That's what she says. It's the top of the summit that you want to focus on. That's where the baby is. And here's where you can get the Power Star after that. I still can't get over the fact that... She said that the baby looks nothing like her. I mean, don't all penguins in this game look alike? You can hardly tell the difference. Sheesh. Anyway, on to episode 3, Big Penguin Race. For this next power star, we first need to go down the cottage and we will find another penguin in here. Hey, hey, Mario, buddy, how's it going? Step right up, you look like a fast sledding kind of guy. I don't speak when I see it, yes siree. I'm the world champion sledder, you know. What do you say? How about a race? Ready? Go. So for the next Power Star, you just need to beat the Penguin in a race to the bottom. And I strongly advise to not take the shortcut that you guys know about, because if you do, the Penguin will know that you're cheating and you won't get the Power Star and you'll have to start over. You have to go the normal way down. So, so far we're making really good progress. I've seen some people have trouble with this. And I really don't blame them because often at times, the penguin can try to speed up and take the lead against you. Oh wow, look at that, I have 69 coins. Yeah, for all of you guys out there who think that this is funny, you can go ahead and laugh about it. You broke my record! Unbelievable! I know that you were the coolest, now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here. Take the star instead. You've earned it. Thanks, Penguin. And here's the next Power Star. And pay no attention to the number 69, okay? That was unintentional. I was trying not to get that amount. Let's just forget about that and move on to Episode 4. Frosty Sly for 8 red coins. This mission is pretty much self-explanatory, we just have to find the 8 red coins. So there's one right there, and if we come over here, we will find another one. Oh, I guess I haven't really talked about the environment of the Cool Cool Mountain. There's definitely a lot of snow all over the place. And surprisingly, it seems as though that Mario can survive in these very cold conditions with his overalls. I wonder how that is exactly. Maybe... The clothes that he's wearing gives him extra protection against the cold, maybe? I don't know. I found that rather strange for some reason. We also have a giant snowball here. I find it rather surprising that Mario really doesn't catch a cold in certain places such as these. 
it's rather weird. But as I always say before, it's Nintendo logic, and I won't question it whatsoever. But it's just really weird, I mean, if one were to actually come up here, one could suffer under frostbite and hypothermia right away, but for Mario it isn't the case. It's just weird, in my personal opinion. Let's see, the remaining coins, here's one right over here, and there's one right there, and I think I remember where the last one is. There's the last one over there. All eight red coins collected, and there's the power star. So let's just make our way up there, and take it with us. And I know that there's a spot in which you can activate the cannon, but I'm not going to worry about that now. Because, well, I've already gotten all eight red coins and made the power star appear, and plus if I were to do something unfortunate like die, then I'd be furious. And it will be rather disappointing. Next power star acquired, we're going to worry about that cannon a little later. Now, on to episode 5 of Cool Cool Mountain. Snowman's lost his head. How oh, did he now? For this next power star, we need to work our way over here, and we'll find another similar snowball than what we've seen before. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. I find it rather surprising that snowballs can talk. It's very, very surprising. Where, where's the logic behind that? <laughs> anyway, for this next power star, you just want to guide the snowball down the mountain and then have him collide with this snowman head over here when I forgot to talk to him. Oh no! Talk about out of body experiences! My body has melted away! Have you run into any headhunters lately? I could sure use a new body. Urgh, my face might freeze like this. How exactly can your face freeze? You're already a snowball. So, you guide the snowball down to the bottom to the snowman, and he'll have the perfect body. Perfect! What a great new body! Here, this is a present for you. It's sure to warm you up. He gives you the power star in return. If you have the snowball slip past the snowman's head, then you'll have to start over. Again, you won't really lose a life, you'll just have to start it over. So that's episode 5 accomplished. You've recovered 30 power stars! Now you can open the door with the big star, but before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the condor to get it back. They say that Bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? Uh, not yet, but we're working on it. Anyway, Episode 6, Wall Kicks Will Work. For this next power star, or final power star in the area, we're going to need to make use of a cannon, so now's a good time to get it active. And... While I try to activate the cannon, I'm anticipating a death, but hopefully it won't happen. So let's go up this little ride right here, and then work our way here on this island. have to take this nice and carefully. Thank you, soldier. It is much appreciated. Now we just have to wait for the gondola to come back. Oh, it's coming back now. Let me see if I can jump on it without dying. Safe and sound. I was a bit nervous there. In fact, I could have taken care of that earlier. Oh, and also there's a wind gust over the pit, but it doesn't really become active wherever you go over the pit. So here's how you can get to the next power star. First, we need to make our way for that tree over there. Let me see if I can pull this off carefully. There we go. Now once again, we're working our way around the mountain. We have some more of those guys right there. We can just sneak past them easily. Here we're going to have to pull off a long jump. 
here goes. There we go. Okay, onward to the Power Star. So here's where you want to pull off the wall kicks. Of course, you may fail a couple of times, but that's okay. You can always just work your way back up to the top. And you see that heart down there? Whenever you take damage and you spin right into it, you'll have your health restored fully. Depending on the rate at which it spins. And you pass right through it. There's the Power Star, so we need to carefully make our way over this icy bridge. And there you go. There is your next Power Star. So it's mission accomplished in Cool Cool Mountain. Surprisingly, I got two episodes two worlds, I'm sorry, done in one episode. That's pretty impressive. And unfortunately, guys, this is where I'm going to stop the episode. So, next time, we are going to make our way into the next world in pursuit of some more Power Stars. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, this is Multigame Master 1, over and out. See you guys later.